and recording. <clears throat> Hello fellow YouTubians, my name is Terry Andrews Jr., also known as the J5 Guru. Uh, so, okay, so um, I put out the last video about annealing. Didn't really receive any comments, any kind of feedback from anybody, um, but my teammate uh, did see it, and he gave me some uh, some positive feedbacks and comment, and, and, and I also kind of went through the video myself and, and realized some areas where I uh, um, where I did things you know incorrectly or may have done things incorrectly first thing was the sooting um, of the material I used a uh, an acetylene torch and it put it on way too thick so by the time that much soot had been burnt off the metal was already past temperature so I used the candle method which I had previously dismissed as you know, uh, being messy and, and not really effective, and it turns out it works pretty darn good. Uh, so yeah, um, piece of aluminum here, simply take the candle, let me try to do this this way so you folks can see, and just blacken it up with some soot, just like that, okay? Come out here, same thing. Here, same thing. Okay. And hopefully this other side's cooled down. And these are on my bend lines, of course. And there we go. That's there we go. That's all you need. Okay, candle works fine. I learned something. <laughs> Assume nothing, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, I haven't actually done these yet, but I'm going to do them now. I'm going to anneal them. Um, but I have done the top plates, and um, here they are. You can see they do warp a little from the heat. That's okay. I mean, there's nothing one can do about that. So yeah, I'm uh, going to go ahead and do this. The other thing that had been pointed out to me is maybe I was moving around too much. Now on the edges, I, I try to not stay real close to the edge because I know I, uh, I can overheat that. Um, so you'll see in here where I, once I get it up to temperature, I'll, I kind of hang in a, you know, this end area and then work my seat. Kyle would advise me, once you get, get it going, just kind of walk it across. So uh, that's that's kind of what I've been doing, and seems like it works out okay. So yeah, uh, let's see what this does, right? Okay, here we go, folks. Starting this to disappear.
Okay. And there we go. Hope that was in frame enough. I was say about two, three inches away with the flame. As you can see, it, uh, <laughs> it warps it like a pretzel. It does get better when it cools down. Um, just set it off to the side and let it cool down naturally. Uh, so, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, ooh, a little warm. I'm going to set this off to the side. <laughs> yeah. Starting to get a little... <laughs> yep, that heat's starting to travel. So, I'm going to set this off. Uh, and then let it cool, and then do this side. <laughs> Despite my desire to do both at the same time, yeah. Um, so, so there we go. Live and learn. Annealing 101. Uh, yeah, so a candle works just fine. Um, acetylene, you can over-soot it, and the soot becomes so thick that it not only acts as its own insulator, but it's so thick that it takes so long to burn off. By the time it's burned off, you've already over-temperatured the, uh, uh, the aluminum. So there you go. All right, Terry Andrews Jr., J5 Guru, uh, signing off, saying bye for now. Uh, hope you learned something. All right, and that's my wife, so perfect timing. All right, talk to you later. Bye for now. And the monkey pushes the button.